Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm hanging out here at the Neighborhood Fish Farm. Carolyn, right? Yes. Carolyn, and of course, we're hanging out with Paul. On? Paul's the guy who brought me here the first time, and look, we got Sophia. Hi. She's gonna be hanging out, helping me with the second camera. And today we're getting fish. Yeah. Okay, and all right, so Carolyn, um, yeah, what's up? here's what's going on. I've got a beautiful caiman exhibit. Okay. Okay, and so there's smooth front caiman and dwarf caiman. They're separated by species, but okay. the water system is one, it's one it's continuous like flow. It's okay, one cool. stream, it's beautiful with uh, about two and a half foot deep pools in, in certain spots and then there's a waterfall and blah, blah, blah. So I really want to continue with this South American like family. family. Yeah, okay, we got cool. the blue car in there, but I need, I don't know anything about fish. You seem like you, you might know a little bit about fish. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Just a little bit. <laughs> this, this place is awesome, man. And anybody can come visit here? Yeah, anybody, it's open to the public. So anybody. cool. Literally, it's in a neighborhood, and it's an amazing part. We're here Literally in uh, neighborhood one of fish the farm. suburbs of Miami. What town is this, Kendall? This, Where are we? Yeah, I would say horse country area. A horse country yeah. area. Yeah. If you're down in Miami and you want to see a lot of beautiful exotic fish, then you need to check this out. This is the place out. to come right here. Definitely. Yeah. So all our sickness are on this side, and our okay. South Americans, and we can- Let's go look, look at some South out. Americans, yeah. Um, like, you know, I love when animals perform a function. Um, so do you, like ostriches will eat taco. Right, so that's what I mean. Okay. But here we have like ostriches. Okay. Obviously. Yeah, check it out. Soap's gonna that. dip it in there and have a look. So. We that, but we also have the wool runner running. Running. Right get in there yeah. and see if you can see the, the fish. Like we still get algae for sure. Like, yeah. You know. All right, so Soap's just having a look. Those are some Oscar. I don't know, what do you think? Should I get an Oscar to regulate? Oh, they I like cool. Oscars. Yeah, no, well, well, let's let's wait. We got so much to see. Okay, all right. Yeah. So we'll keep Oscar in our head. I, I had an Oscar as a kid. They're tough fish. They'll regulate the pond. What's this? These are convicts here. Which ones are these? These are the convicts. Oh, um, I've heard of these now. Yeah, they multiply like crazy, and they do protect their babies. They They're protect their very, babies. Yeah. Um, a lot of cause. Do lot they of lay cause. eggs or do they mount they... like? I think they lay eggs. They, they think they lay eggs? eggs. Yeah. Okay. Just like those horses right. that are breeding over there, there's actually babies there. You might want to catch that on. Oh, them. let's see. Oh, video too. There is babies. They're see all see them babies. all around the, the, the female? Oh, the bottom. You see them right there? Right there. Whoa, yeah. so cool. It's really good. Soph has been really, uh, Sophia is my animal nut. Yes. She's feeding the reptiles now. Everything except the alligators. Her mother would kill me. But, um, She's she's getting really into being around the animals, which I love. So, very cool. Did you get it? Oh, oh look at yeah, those baby right there, babe. The See, they're, they're right the by the camera. camera. Don't move. Don't go. move the camera. Perfect. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's the wow, look at all those babies. So those are convict cichlids. No, those are actually Texas. Oh, what are these? Green terrors or Texas? No, green terrors. My bad. Oh, green terrors. No yeah. problem. I'm sure you have a lot of fish to keep yes. track of here. <laughs> all right, so let's move on, pal. Now these are these are the wolf cichlids. Huh. Dovi. What are they? They're called Dovi. Dovi's, okay. Dovi cichlids. Oh, very okay, cool. Dovi cichlids. Dovi uh, They look like the Akara, but they're not. Those would be really cool. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Look how beautiful they are. Ah, uh, yes. And they Let's get see. Big too. Let's yeah. get they, out. They get they, big? How big? And, and, and they're quick. I think I've seen them about Those like things that. will get a. Yeah. Oh, the the Caymans will have a lot of trouble trying to get them if they're trying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if you have fish that are. That's like, the thing. I, I don't. Obviously, I don't want fish that are super. It, it, it's very possible these guys might get eaten. <laughs> so I don't want. I don't want. You That's know. That's what I'm saying. If we get some of these, I think they're pretty fast. So. They're quick. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll try it, guys. I, I don't want to just take these happy little fish and turn them into desserts. There's also, a, there's also a lot of spots in that pond for them to get in that they're, the crocs can't, or that the caimans can't get that's in. That's right. Yeah. Well, Look at these crayfish, man. How cool is that? Those guys are like the cleanup crew, so. Yep. There you go. Okay. Just don't move. Just get it right like that. And just focus on one for a little while, then move slowly. Look at the other ones over here. Nice and slowly. We got a little stowaway. And hold. There you go. He made his way with the bullfish. Oh, did he? Yeah, he's Oh, yeah, look at that. Of awesome. Okay. And then here, these are mostly all peacocks, so these are all Africans. What about tetras? I was thinking tetras might be an interesting little colorful, pretty fish. And they're small and may go unnoticed by the caiman. Hopefully your caiman does not find them attractive. Yes. <laughs> I'll find them attractive. I like watching the fish. It's a lot of fun. I, I just want to create a cool little ecosystem. So these little dudes, wow. Oh my gosh. 
gosh, dude. Oh, wow. They're so pretty. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and will these do well? They do well here in Florida. They breed for you guys? Here? Well, we never get these to breed here. Breed. Okay. They never, I mean, yeah. on top, they never last here for them to breed anyway. Because of the... Uh, A lot of people like these. They, they buy them. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. It's very cool. I mean, dude. and what are these guys? They, they, I'd probably want to get. Dude, those are so like pretty. And they're good those? size too. So I, that's I, awesome. I would get. Yeah, yeah I would get a, a lot of them. Like a hundred of them. What would? A nice little group of them. They yeah. look really, really nice in there. That's Because they all stick be together, cool. just like this. Yeah, it would be there. nice. And they can hide in all the. Uh, those you won't have a single issue getting. Either. I don't. I don't think so. Not one. Pretty cool, man. We're finally doing it. We're getting Cayman Creek all set up with some uh, South American fish. So yeah, I I think a hundred would be very. It looks so nice. Yeah. Very good in there. They'll right. stick together. That's okay, good. cool. So we'll come back and work on those guys. Awesome, yeah. guys. I don't know. I think we're doing good. Is there? I mean, there's so much to see here. I might just want to have a look at some of the bigger fish. How about some bigger South American fish? What do you guys have? So you can for sure take a look at them. All right. How long have you been working here? Really long time. Really long time. <laughs> That's awesome. How did you get started? Like, how does one get started? Because you don't see a lot of gals. I'm gonna be honest with you. I literally came across this place through the youth fair, and it was. I didn't even when I met them first of all, I was the mother, and from then on, that's it. It was just history. That's it. it You've just, just been here. Yeah. Very very cool. And I love this place. No way. Oh my God! Is that a red tail catfish? Red tail. Look how yes. big this red tail is. Jeez. Guys, you check your, uh, this out. I don't want your fingers to get bitten around. off. Who's that? That's the hybrid coming around. Oh, wow. Is that an arowana? Yes. Yeah. And then that's the iridescent shark. Iridescent catfish right there. underneath is that's the biggest one I've ever seen. Okay. That is awesome, guys. These are it's amazing. Fish. You know what's yeah, fun? Cool. Oh, it's your channel. I forgot. We probably wouldn't be able to feed a lizard to the arowana. What? No way, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Those little lizards around here. Oh, my God. No, we'll keep, that. we'll keep the lizards out of their mouths. We know they eat. We know they eat anything, arowanas. Wow, okay, this is cool. This is like the big, the big fish section. Yeah, oh, Paku. Yeah. Wow. And a lot of these, these fish are pretty tame, huh? These guys, yeah. Obviously, yeah, they're always Man. ready to eat. All right, very cool. This whole place, how long have they been here? The, the whole establishment here yeah. since 1971. What? That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. That's really cool. How many years have you been here? I would say about like 16. 16 years. I, came, I was little. But I you were little, huh? Little. We'll That's there. so cool. We were little. Oh, wow. What is it? This is arowana? Uh, yes, the albino ones. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Albino? Dude, so big. So, look at these. Albino arowanas, man. That is amazing. I always, you know, it's so funny. Sometimes you see these fish in like uh, Asian restaurants. Yes. In like a fish tank, and you, they're it's never. It's so nice little, to see them from the side view. It's yeah, so beautiful. It's so beautiful. They're very interactive fish. That I can tell you. That is cool. Them sons of the guns are expensive. They are. Yeah. No, that's that okay. I will not die. <laughs> no, I understand. Look at he wants some food. I wouldn't stick your finger in there. Nope. Yeah. Not good. Glad you didn't stick your little fingers in there. Or the camera. Oh sure my God! They eat the camera. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we're looking pretty good. I think we have a really good idea of what we want. So I know we want those tetras. Let's get some convicts and a uh, couple of Oscars, I think, should do it. What do you guys think? Let's go catch up these fish. And uh, then we just got to drive home and get those bags floating. Yeah, and hopefully we don't melt out here. Yeah, it's hot. It's about 105 degrees today. I've got South American turtles in there. I've got, it's perfect, so. Did you finish yeah. the cage around it? Oh, dude, you haven't been over. Wait until he sees this thing later. Wait until you see this thing I haven't thing seen later. any of it. Oh my God. I think he's going to be stoked. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Is Paul going to be psyched on Cayman Creek? <laughs> Cayman Creek. I think Creek. so. What are we looking for when we're looking so for pretty. healthy fish? I would say the coloration, also the pattern. They're going to have nice patterns, nice fins, nothing ripped up or anything like okay. that. And, okay, we're good to go. Clean eyes. I was just looking this at one. that one too. All right, scoop yeah. him up. Put him in. But let, oh, oh, good job. Good job, I, dude. I did the opposite of what we should have done. It's I got an eye like, on him. We can get him again. Yeah. He's right here. That's awesome. Check it out, guys. It's so pretty. There we go. That is pretty, yeah. Cool, we got our one. That one's awesome. So cool, man. You know, when I was a kid, my dad would bring me to the aquarium up in New York. We had aquariums, like little fish stores. Um, and it was always fun to go in there. My dad loved fish, um, but he never actually 
got the fish tank because I was one of seven kids. So my dad oh, didn't, like, oh yeah, six, seven? seven kids, yeah. My dad didn't have a lot of disposable income. He was worried about keeping us clothed and fed. and uh, He made sure we had everything we wanted, but he did without. He knew one day you'd be doing what you did. This is, I'm so stoked. So yeah, yeah. shout out to good dads out there and good moms that do without for their kids because he really put me on a amazing trajectory uh, with animals. And uh, I do appreciate it. Love you, dad. It's not even Father's Day, but you gotta shout out Pop every once in a while, you know? <laughs> Can't let the old man think we forgot about him. Your parents watch? Oh yeah, mom and dad watch, for sure. All right, now these are, what again, Con these are convicts. Convicts, all right. Now, these guys, um, here's my question. Do we know what's a male and what is a female? Yes. Can you, What? what is the, is there a certain ratio that's good? Or, they, do these breed fairly easily? They do, once they pair up, they, they are one to one kind of fish. Okay, they, yeah. fish, they're sorry. one to one kind of fish. That's all right, my wife calls all the animals people too. Yeah, but it's cool, man. When you spend enough them. time with the animals, they become people too. Uh, awesome. What would you suggest? Would you do, you do more females, females than males? Females than males, right? Okay. The males really, really they're like, aggressive. Yeah. This is awesome. All right, so maybe 4.6. Does that make sense? Four males to six females? Is yeah. that okay? It's a big, in what would you do? If it's, a, if it's a big enclosure, it's good because they can, you know, they can get, get away. away. Yeah, of course. They pair off and they'll. How about 2.6? Even better? Two males against four females? Or six females? Too many females? Yeah, that's okay. Alright, so 4.6 it is. Let's get our two males. Let's get our males. And what are you looking for? How do you know? The it's females a female? get like a pink belly here. Oh, okay. Because cool. this one's kind of like dark to see and notice it, but that's a male for sure. Those big guys. That's are a males. male. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna. You could do like the males, guy. and then where I can see. That one's right. beautiful. The nice this female. is cool. Look at that, guys. How beautiful these fish They're are. They're very similar to the African cichlid. Mhm. Mm this like, is another male. Yep, that's your male right there. Thank you. This is a female. Oh, this is awesome. Pink belly. I'm just waiting for her to show it. See how you have it very little there, Sean? Yep. Yep, that's female right there. Okay. I trust you. Very cool. See if we can find some nice ones over here. Right. They're already hiding over here because of the sun. Yeah. Are you stoked to see me getting yeah. fish? I am. I told you this place is awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. I think we're going to get a lot of neons, though. Oh, yeah. We're going for it. I want a shimmering pond. Yeah. All right, so these guys, um, I don't know. We're gonna do as many as we can get a group. Yeah, let's get a nice big group. Ken, and this is the highlight of the day. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. There's some. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's a nice group. Yeah. All right, wow. that's a big counting. <laughs> okay, you go ahead. You excited, Ken? I can't even go. I am, man. I've been waiting to get this pond stocked with fish for a while. Uh, one of my viewers. What's that? I, I can't even go in. Oh, that's right. You're not allowed in there. Mom will freak out. She's not even allowed in because <laughs> there's caiman, you see. Uh, but one day, some someday when she's a teenager, we'll have her working inside the caiman enclosures. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. So it's been a long time wanting to get fish for the pond, for the caiman creek. <clears throat> I knew you had the, the serious uh, fish people, mm -hmm. so. I'm psyched we finally got together dude. Our our schedules are so busy. It is. It takes a long time for us to link up, even though we now live three miles apart. I wouldn't even say three miles. It's not even that far. I, I rode the electric bike to your house today in probably eight minutes. That's crazy. Do you really ride an electric bike? That's what I want to know. Yeah, you're a biker, so you take offense. I, I it's all right. <laughs> I have friends they do elect e-bike races, but really? I just yeah, that's cool. I just I like the old school. I'm an analog kind of guy. This guy uh, rode 50 miles before we got here today. That's true. I did. You could have got here. I could have. <laughs> I, I, will, I will one day ride to Miami and back. It's uh, about 100 miles each way. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Carolyn is going to get the fish all set up and we're heading home. We'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, fish are floating, Paul. What do you think of Cayman Creek, man? Floating. It's insane. Yeah. When I walked up, I did not expect to see what I saw. That's this awesome. This looks absolutely amazing. Very secure, too. It looks like you put a lot of work into 
oh, yeah. hammering and making secure. We do not want any drama. No Cayman will this be escaping this area. Heck of a natural enclosure. Thank you, brother. And there's two Cayman hanging out in there. And uh, this evening, they're going to have new friends to come hang. I love these. these yeah, will, that's These the, will grow really nice. Exactly. Ficus repens. It'll, it's a creeper, and it grows up all over the rocks and stuff. So, uh, that's sweet, man. Yeah, bro. All right, listen. He's got to go home. I have to eat. We're going to float these. I'll be out after, uh, after I eat, and we're going to let the fish swim away. Later, bro. Yeah, man. All right. Stay tuned. All right, so Lucifer is excited about this. We've got the um, fish here soaking in this water, which is <clears throat> in the actual, in this bucket. So what I'm gonna do, folks, is I'm gonna have to undo this, put the fish uh, a little bit of their water with the pond water, and then we're gonna go ahead and put them in the wetland filter. There are already some, uh, blue Akara cichlids in here that have been in here for weeks now and uh, wow this is gonna be cool so let me go ahead and get this ready I'm gonna need both my hands we're gonna undo this and we're gonna get these fish going all right they made it easy for me we're gonna dunk it get some of the pond water in there so that these guys get used to it So here are the convict cichlids, and you can see the blue acara are just very inquisitive fish. And here is our yellow spotted Amazon river turtles. And you'll also notice there's some algae, which is perfectly normal. It's very hot. This is a new system. It's going to take a few months for it to really uh, mature with our plants. Once those plants um, mature, they're going to starve out that algae and because it's so warm. The algae is just blooming right now. So uh, what we need to do is just let the process happen. All right, let's scoop. Let's see if we can get our first fish out. Here we go. Some nice, beautiful fish. There you go, little one. All right, first fish is away. They always go down into the, into the bottom. Here comes our second one. I believe that's a female. Right down. That's such a cool, ow, oh, they got spines. Youch, that hurt. <laughs> okay. And then we have, of course, let's just, these are small, so we're gonna dump the females in. There we go. Fish away. Awesome. Lots of places for them to hide. Don't think he's going to be interested in them. Um, we shall see. But there they go. Fish are moving about. And what's great is the fish, there's one of the cichlid males just kind of hiding already. Very cool. <clears throat> they're going to find each other and they're going to be very happy in this environment. That's awesome. They'll also move around and they'll stir up all this algae. Very good. All right, let's keep moving along here. We got a lot to do. Get the Oscars going now. All right, <clears throat> these guys are a little quicker. I don't know if I can scoop them by hand. Well, it ain't gonna happen. All right, we got some Oscars in there now. Good luck, little guys.
All right, now it's time for our final group. And that is of course the Neon Tetris. And this should be really cool fish to have in our Cayman Creek. Some South American fish here for our South American habitat that we've built. Or tried to do the best we can. I'm sure some of these plants aren't found in South America, but you know what? Pretty happy about this. Okay, here they are. And there's a hundred of them in there. So I gotta get these guys going. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and get this camera underwater. I'm definitely gonna have to dump these guys in because I'm not doing a hundred at a time. <clears throat> oh man, look at them all. That is awesome. All right, need both hands again. Hard to believe that's a hundred fish. My goodness, I hope they breed. That would be so cool to have as many of these as I possibly can. Wow. It's gonna be so awesome to see this place alive with fish, with plants, just an amazing habitat. So here we go. Awesome. Well, there you have it, friends. Another successful day. Uh, just building my little Cayman Creek here. Uh, I want to thank, thank Paul for bringing me to Neighborhood Fish Farm and Caroline for helping me out. And uh, yeah, just a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't worry, if you're not happy that this video is over, don't be alarmed because there's so many more videos on this channel. Why don't you guys go ahead and check them all out and uh, I'll catch up with you guys again real soon. Take care.